Brought to you by VFTV. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to The Vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Leon and Pierre here. We're here to preview something really cool from the Clink Room. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take it away. Man, I'm really excited to show these off. So it's been a while since we've had some exclusive Clink Room uh, content on the channel. But man, this is a, this is a good, as good a time as any to show off some great Clink Room hats. So now listen, we've only got five of the six because we want you to be able to head over to the site their Instagram, that sort of thing, to see the sixth hat, which is a recolor um, of a hat that I picked as one of my top hats of, I don't know what year that was. It was, I think it was the, my number one hat, like three or four years, four years ago, maybe? Uh, the original release was July 2020. All right. So <laughs> the 2020 fitties, when I picked my top 100, I believe that hat was like number one. So to see it recolored is fantastic. But I'm not going to show that one here because I want to make sure um, you guys check out the Clink Room Instagram along with their website uh, to see that number six hat. So without further ado, Leon, are you ready to explain these and I'll show them off? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. So, Leon, tell us a little bit about the project first as I kind of put this first hat up there. Yeah, so uh, I've been producing some uh, content called Sundays with the Clink Room. So every Sunday. I try to interview someone um, that is either a clinker themselves, a collector, uh, and we kind of go through the news and the happenings of um, the happenings of uh, the clink room. And for the first, I would say, 12 episodes or so, I would pull the artist aside or the, uh, the interviewee, and we would recolor some hats. So eventually, I, I packaged that in a nice package gave him the Casey and Casey picked his top 12. So nice. was, um, kind of that package. And, th and that was around the time when he first put in all of those uh, fancy side patches, which at the time was like groundbreaking. Of course. Yeah. Known for that at all. So let's start with this one, Leon. So really, uh, re thank you for outlining the project. Sounds fantastic. And the hats look even better. So let's start with this one, Leon. So tell us a little bit about this hat. Yeah, so 40 Swords, I mean, you guys joke all the time that I'm a 40 Swords stand, which I am. I love uh, his work. TJ uh, originally released this hat along with Tom in uh, March 2022. Uh, it's called Serial Killers. Uh, this time we we tried to bring a little bit of, uh, I mean, we tried to bring it back because this, this hat has never been recolored. So yeah. uh, you can see some of the typical serial colors I guess. Nah, this is this is like a box of fruit loops or lucky charms it's got all those like classic cereal box colors so yeah. really nice job with this one yeah this so. thing is nice and listen red with green under is absolutely phenomenal man i love that and i like that green button up there it kind of ties into that and the spoon that he's kind of holding there this thing is is amazing so really nice job on this first one serial killers thank you all right next up this one when i first saw it i ordered the original i was like wow man mm -hmm. this is amazing yeah, so the original uh, Good Kitties by 40 Swords again dropped May uh, 23rd, 2021. So the original one has a really hyper bolt green. You know, I love that, but, you know, some people can get turned away from. Was that a blue hat, if I remember? Yeah, it was like a navy blue. Yeah, I remember now, yeah. Where they're really volt green. I love volt green, but that's not for everyone. So um, I want to make this one really wearable. Uh, I have a lot of uh, tabbies in my life now. So I wanted to color it up like a, like a tabby cat. And, you know, he's mischievous. And when you uh, hit this with the glow, he, he has the devil horns and, and that mischievous look kind of like Sylvester. Just reminds me of those old, like, Looney Tunes. And then, uh, yeah, that side patch just kind of kept it um, kind of uh, black silver with whites. And, yeah, I wanted to have this really toned down kind of version, just really clean and wearable. No, it's great. And for those out there looking at the video right now, I wish I could show you the glow in the dark elements of this. That is what's probably the most fantastic part of this hat. So this is one uh, that if you get in hand, you're gonna you're you're in for quite the surprise if you go out in the dark. And so are people that are looking at you. This thing is this thing is incredible. 
Really nice recolor. Beautiful concept from the outset. So nice job. Uh, this one is a must. All right. Now we're going to go on to uh, – I, I actually, surprisingly enough, enough, I don't have the original of this one. I don't know what I was thinking, but – Not many people do. This one. Yeah, not many people have the original one. So the original one dropped uh, 2020. I, I, like you, I made the mistake. I didn't get the original one. And when I interviewed Aaron Bird for his episode, the, the his easy answer was to recolor this one and re-release this one because so many people missed out on the original. You know why? You know why people missed out on it? Why? Because I think at the beginning of Clink Room, this was towards the beginning. Yeah. Clink Room 2.0. Yep. What happened was I don't think people realized at what velocity this stuff was was coming at. Mm -hmm. Because you know we didn't know it was going to be this many, that, uh, you know that fast. <clears throat> Sorry, but this is one that I think a lot of people made mistakes on as they were trying to cut their budget down a little bit because yeah. they didn't realize initially what the velocity was going to be. They're like, "Holy shit!" Like I'm buying so many of these, <clears throat> and this one didn't make the cut for a lot of people. But um, definitely, once you saw it in hand and people started getting them delivered, they're like, "Shoot, man, I might have made a mistake here." So this thing looks great too. Yeah, the metallic elements and then those kind of funky greens, um, the copper at the back. I think Aaron had a lot of good input. Um, when we recolored this, it was a lot of fun to redo it. Uh, he's from uh, the West Coast, so to kind of tie in the Pacific Northwest kind of colorway was was a must. And, uh, yeah, just give people a chance because, yeah, I, I'm one of the people just like you. Even though we were there in the beginning, we didn't get the original. So this is like a... <clears throat> Again, it came down the budget for me. I was buying so many of them. I, I was buying all of them. Mm -hmm. And then I had to slow down a little bit. And I think this is what happened. It's it happened mm -hmm. at that point. And then this is one that I regret I regretted, but now uh, I've got the recolor, so that's fantastic. And I love this uh clink room, the clink room on the side. Yeah, and there's not many Fridays that they've missed pre-orders, pre-order pre-order wise. They've done six designs <laughs> pretty much every week. I know. For the last five years, which is insane. All I'm right. saying my favorite uh, for last, but this one is incredible. Yeah, so Swinging Shams. I think this is the second or third like version of Shams. The original came uh, to us 2022 on like a Vegas gold, like wheat kind of color two-tone. Um, I just wanted a toned down version where it was black, show the logo, make it nice and clean. The green under my favorite under and uh yeah another 40 swords masterpiece to me this is great man take a look at the detail in there and yeah. guys once you get these in man i know I, I don't know if some if, you, if you're new to the clink room or you don't normally consume a lot of clink room content um i'm gonna tell you guys right now these things are like pieces of artwork man i'm just telling you look at this thing beautiful all right, and last but not least, my favorite. Yeah, so this is Shams, the next episode. Uh, I was begging Casey to bring back the 1.0 Shams. He would said it would never happen. This was the closest thing we got to it. So uh, TJ, uh, 40 Swords, drew Shams in another pose. The original one was a black-red two-tone. Uh, came out in uh, 2021. Um, this one just wanted to bring it back nice and clean. Kept all the color blocking the same. But put it on all black hat just so that the logo can be front and center. This thing is crazy. And let me tell you something. It's got a streetwear vibe to it, man. Mm -hmm. This thing is great. And this side patch is smooth, man. It's like it's subdued. So when you see it from far away, it just it doesn't like pop. But when you get in there and you look at the details, this thing is this thing shines, man. I love this. Yeah, this to me is the perfect hat. Black hat, green under, nice, creative, bold logo at the front. A side patch that stands on its own well, but doesn't take away from that front logo. Nice and clean, man. I love this thing. This thing's going to be in my rotation. I love this. This is an everyday kind of wear hat. Now, if it were me, I'd be buying two of these. I'd, I'd have one to wear and one to uh, kind of save for the collection, but. This thing is fantastic. Really nice job. Yeah. So listen, Lee, I'm, gonna sh I'm just going to show the side patch again. This is an incredible clip. Again, there's a sixth hat 
that was my I think it was my number one hat of 2020, I believe. Yeah. I think we and, did a, a custom and a and a like a custom list and a like a regular yeah. like license list. Yeah, but I would put it up against the license stuff. It was it's that that logo is that incredible. Um and I and I was like sold the second I saw um the pre-order come up for it and I I I I bought it you know instantaneously. I bought two of them. So yeah. Um, you guys will check that out on the uh, Clink Room uh, Instagram and their website. But Leon, I want you to go through the particulars of how people can get a hold of these now. Yeah, so if you're a VIP status uh, with Clink Room, you already have access to these uh, on the clinkroom.com. Uh, regular release is happening Tuesday, July 30th at 9 p.m. Eastern. So mark your calendars. Uh, members, if you're watching this early, this is your advance notice. Um, and then uh, yeah, later today, if you're watching this uh as we debut it on Tuesday. What about like, so how do you, um, how do you become a VIP member? I think it's a uh, case by case. So they review how much you spend and then they put you in the VIP tier. So I'm in there. I know that. Cause I get the VIP email. So yeah. So spend enough and uh, <laughs> you will get there. I don't know if it's a hard and fast number, but gotcha. But. Okay. That's cool. All right. So that's fantastic. So a little bit about how to become a VIP. Um, and for those of you watching now, um, if you're VIP, you already have access to these. If you're watching prior to what time, Leon, on Tuesday? 9 p.m. Eastern. Is yeah, if you're time. watching prior to 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time on Tuesday, um, these will be available to you at 9 p.m. Yeah, and then uh, we'll be releasing the behind-the-scenes uh, coloring of the Ruby Throats mm -hmm. and uh, Serial Killers with uh, TJ himself. So uh, we'll be releasing that content at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern as well on this channel and Leon and the all right, cool. Well, Leon, thank you so much uh, for uh, joining me this evening to show off this uh, this fantastic project. I want to thank Casey and the team over at the Clink Room um, for allowing me to preview this stuff. And I also want to thank um, all of the artists that were uh, that were kind of featured here. So thank you for just making creative and great um, great logos for us to enjoy and consume. And with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, let us know in the comments which of these hats are your favorite. Make sure you guys, like Pierre said, uh, give support to. Uh, all the artists out there working hard to create these logos. Shout out to Casey and the team for uh, doing this. This is a dream come true to be able to uh, be able to play with these logos and, and create something uh, fresh for everyone. So for Leon and Pierre, we're out of here. See you, everybody. Peace. Brought to you by VFTV. No,